Why is Hillary Clinton talking to Lawrence Rockefeller and holding a book about extraterrestrials? This is a picture of Hillary Clinton and Lawrence Rockefeller. As most of you probably already know, Hillary is a former Secretary of State for the Obama administration and currently a 2016 presidential candidate. She is also a longtime politician. Lawrence Rockefeller was the fourth child of John D. Rockefeller Jr. from the well-known Rockefeller family, American industrialists and political and banking kingpins who have had their hands in the creation of a large portion of the modern-day global economy. They were behind the creation of the modern-day banking and education systems in the energy and healthcare industries, along with the Trilateral Commission of the United Nations, just to name a few. They are part of that 1% of wealthy people who basically own all of the world's resources. Many people believe the Rockefeller family is a sinister one, secretly conspiring to control the population, destroy slash pollute the earth, and take away our rights. It is believed they hope to carve out the direction of the human race into what's known as the New World Order. And they are certainly aware of these concerns, if David Rockefeller's memoirs are any indication. Some even believe we are part of a secret cabal working against the best interests of the United States, characterizing my family and me as internationalists and of conspiring with others around the world to build a more integrated global political and economic structure one world, if you will. If that's the charge, I stand guilty, and I am proud of it. There is a lot of evidence suggesting that the Rockefeller family, as well as the Rothschilds and a few others, have had their hands in some disturbing events relating to environmental destruction, genocide, and more, but that doesn't mean we should point fingers and condemn every single member of the family. Ultimately, we, the human race, are responsible for what is happening on the planet, what has been happening, and what will continue to happen unless we do something about it. We live in a world of secrecy, and the mainstream world became more aware of this fact after Edward Snowden released the very first public disclosure of clandestine black budget operations, despite the fact that it had already, partially, been exposed by a few researchers. We don't really hear about black budget programs, or about people who have actually looked into them. However, the topic was discussed in 2010 by Washington Post journalists Dana Priest and William Markin. Their investigation lasted approximately two years and concluded that America's classified world has become so large, so unwieldy and so secretive that no one knows how much money it costs, how many people it employs, how many programs exist within it or exactly how many agencies do the same work. Below is a close-up on the book taken from the above picture, and beside that is another angle of Hillary carrying the book while walking and talking with Lawrence. Why am I mentioning the black budget world? Because it goes hand in hand with the UFO phenomenon, which is now backed by a tremendous amount of evidence from a number of credible people, alongside a mountain of documentation. To learn more about that, you can read this article, or visit the CLSA politics section of our website here. How we can tell what book Hillary is holding, and why it's important. The book you see Hillary Clinton holding is titled, Are We Alone? It was written by Paul Davies, a well-respected American physicist, who has held professorships at various universities. Most of his research has been in the area of quantum field theory. The book ponders the ramifications of contact with intelligent extraterrestrials. If you look closely at the picture above that is zoomed in on the book, you can clearly see it matches the back of Davies' book. You can see the faint star below the eye in both pictures, the bright star that is further away. And the eye on the bottom left. But how do we know that this is really the book Hillary is holding? 
The reason why I chose to write about this is not because the book simply looks like the work of Davies, but because there is a mountain of evidence to validate the fact that Hillary Clinton, as well as Bill Clinton, initiated an effort alongside Lawrence Rockefeller to encourage the U.S. government to officially disclose the existence of extraterrestrials and FES. It's what's become known as the Rock Rockefeller Initiative, a request made by Lawrence Rockefeller to the CIA and the U.S. Air Force to declassify and release all information regarding fessing to the public domain. You can view all of the documents to and from Lawrence Rockefeller to various people regarding this initiative here. They were obtained through the Freedom of Information Act by various researchers, including the Paradigm Research Group, who was responsible for the recent citizen hearing on disclosure about FES. It's also noteworthy to mention here that Harvard University psychologist and Pulitzer Prize winner Dr. John Mack had a great interest in the UFO slash extraterrestrial phenomenon. He is most noted in Fology for his book titled Deduction. Human Encounters with Aliens. His work was heavily supported by Lawrence Rockefeller, as a report published in the U.S. National Library of Medicine states, his disparate press in this from esteemed professor of psychiatry at Harvard Medical School to social activist and believer in alien abductions were as incongruent as the extraordinary assemblage of his supporters, who included venture capitalist Lawrence Rockefeller and attorney Daniel Sheehan, best known for his defense of left-leaning causes. Source I just want to make it clear that Lawrence Rockefeller maintains an obvious interest in this subject, and that the Rockefeller initiative was indeed a real one, as illustrated by the documents linked above. Maga stated that, yes, it's both. It's both literally, physically happening to a degree. And it's also some kind of psychological, spiritual experience occurring and originating perhaps in another dimension. And so the phenomenon stretches us, or it asks us to stretch to open to realities that are not simply the literal physical world, but to extend to the possibility that there are other unseen realities from which our consciousness, our, if you will, learning processes over the past several hundred years have closed us off. Source, Source I should mention that Mac was one of the main researchers involved in one of the most astonishing UFO witness cases ever to surface, a supposed encounter with over 60 school children in the town of Rue, Zimbabwe, on September 16, 1994. The children claimed to have seen multiple hovering objects that resembled what we would describe as spaceships. You can learn more about that case, and view some video footage of the children in 1994 all the way up to the present day in this article. There is something else which lends significant credibility to the link between Hillary and UFO research, her involvement with John Podesta, who is counselor to Barack Obama, former chief of staff at the White House under the Clinton administration, and current head of Hillary Clinton's campaign. He has been quoted as saying, I'm skeptical about many things, including the notion that government always knows best, and that the people can't be trusted with the truth. The time to pull the curtain back on this subject has long effort. We have statements from the most credible sources, those in a position to know, about a fascinating phenomenon, the nature of which is yet to be determined. John Podesta, taken from Leslie Keene's 2010 New York Times bestseller, Fess. Generals, pilots, and government officials go on the record, for which Podesta wrote the foreword. I think it's time to open the books uh, on, on uh, questions that have remained in the dark, on the, on the question of, of government investigations of, of UFOs. It's time to find out what, what the truth really is that's out there. Uh, we ought to do it really because it's right. We ought to do it because 
the American people, quite frankly, can handle the truth, and we ought to do it because it's the law. Why is Hillary Clinton talking to Lawrence Rockefeller and holding a book about extraterrestrials? This is a pickle known Rockefeller family, American industrialists and political and banking kingpins who have had their hands in the creation of a large portion of the modern day global economy. They were behind the creation of the modern-day banking and education systems in the energy and healthcare industries, along with the Trilateral Commission of the United Nations, gesture of Hillary Clinton and Lawrence Rockefeller. As most of you probably already know, Hillary is a former Secretary of State for the Obama administration and currently a 2016 presidential candidate. She is also a longtime politician. Lawrence Rockefeller was the fourth child of John D. Rockefeller Jr. from the 